made my choice, Addy. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. <laughs> Sasa's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, it shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. I spied a few items in the hold earlier. Powder and a few pistols. I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> It's a good start. One you find laughable. Could we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? Sure. What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of lint stocks heaped like tinder and one with a slow match still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife. Fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping. Corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotted, I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shouts. So worry about your own armaments when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaw as well. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition. <laughs> I don't know, you seem, you seem very experienced in this. Also, it's been several days, so... <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, so, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> yes, yes he has. Okay, shoot it. Why, why would I do that? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna keep saying that, aren't I? Right. There's an ocelot that I need to kill. Where are the iguanas? Because I could. Because I mean, obviously, I've played this before. I'm pretty certain that near the beach? Perhaps? It was a rock. Oh, crabs. There's an iguana. Get back here. Got it. <laughs> there is no there is no escape from a Kenway. Find an ocelot. But then fucking air assassinate thing. There's one. There's one. Ooh, there's another one. Come to. I will do this one. <laughs> probably shouldn't have. Probably should have got the ocelot first. So it's like, no, I've got, I've got, got to wander away. Yep, it wandered away. It had no time for my bullshit. Ooh. Yes! 
I am sorry. I don't I don't like killing animals. I don't like it. It's not for me. Like I'm not a vegetarian or anything, don't get me wrong, but like I wouldn't kill them. Unless you know. Unless it was a survival situation, in which then of course I would, because you know, I need to live. But In a, you know, in this kind of situation, in which I don't actually have to, I would. <laughs> They're fucking everywhere, and you're fucking stupid. <laughs> Survival of the fittest. First and last crafting I'll probably ever actually do. I don't know, I might do a little bit more. Give me, some, give me a little bit more help. Oh wait, yeah. Fast travel back to the thing, can't I? Crabs. Oh, he's, he's down there. Okay. Hey. Ahoy, Captain. Find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Here, take this. Yeah. Taken from the holds, just as you said. A little more than a blowpipe. But it'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You'll find no civilization in NASA. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. <laughs> oh, the face is itchy. Yes, yes, I know. Who's main sail? Far away is this? Hmm, not too far. Especially normal going at travel speed. Ah, uh, I do love the sound on this. It's so much nicer than on the third one. But then I suppose they had to up it because it was so much more of a thing that they had to like gear it a bit. Oh, it's, it's even closer. <laughs> Fine with that. Go on, Captain Queer Nubs. Tell me I'm under arrest. <laughs> Tell me! Damn your breads. Fly away, boy -o, back to your master! Aye. We was privateers together, before the wars ended. I'll see you ashore. <laughs> Does that mean you trust them? Does that mean they're crazy? Does that mean both? Something tells me it means both. <laughs> because I'm not going to spoil it, but I know who those people are. One of them is probably more obvious than the other. Because parkour. Did you fucking teleport out of Wale? By God, you're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Why can't we? Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw? Yes. <laughs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. Hmm. You let him carry a pistol, Ed Thatch's do you? Ben. 
Black I didn't see it my life. Like and now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men about. We use caution. The shipload of the King's sailors showed up a fortnight back, causing trouble and knocking about like they own the place. All right. I'll see who I can muster. Seriously, I just fucking love the clothes in this time period. It's just, it's all just so fucking ostentatious and awesome. Yeah, yeah. I know. Time to go rescue some people. Send any men you find to the jackal. Sure thing, Addy. Cheers, Addy. Do that to me, really. I am a lot stealthier than you will ever be. <laughs> Goodbye. There, there are two, not four, but okay. What's all this pissing and moaning about? <laughs> Jesus Christ, woman. That was not what I was expecting to hear anyone say, ever. <laughs> I could, but I won't. There's no point unless I'm going to get somebody rescued out of it. your blood here, vulture! <laughs> Bitch. I may pay a little <laughs> run the rim, but I'm no run jack, I do swear! The fuck? <laughs> what? Pull me from the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks you hardy. I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I have no fucking clue what you people are saying. Could be like five people over here. Oh no. More symbols have turned up. Well, another symbol has turned up. Get these guys first, because I'll have to come back. Things I do for a pirate crew. I did not go into that expecting that to rhyme, but it did. <laughs> One more. <laughs> I'm d no, I'm, d I'm not going underground. I'm going to save myself that trouble. Right, okay. Don't shoot them before I get there. I'm serious, don't. I am the greatest assassin you have ever seen. Not even an assassin yet. <laughs> In this case, I'm the greatest stealthy pirate that you have ever seen. Parrots, parrots everywhere. This pirate bears the blood of many innocent. Nope. Fuck. Here we go. I am. 
the greatest. Put that down, Edward. <laughs> you have two perfectly good swords of your own. Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye, it's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. You see here. Oh, oh rot. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoise is how we earn our keep here, lad. It ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy. A bit of both, possibly. Back to the ship. Yeah, back. Oh, almost back to the ship. Morning, Kenway. Morning. Not a bad looking tinder box you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Because mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> you don't believe in this. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. It's so weed, is what you're saying. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm going to teach you how to say it all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. I guarantee I'm already a better pirate than you are. Don't give me that shit. That. We'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Right. I will humiliate you. And then I will steal your coat. Not fair. <laughs> Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. Keeps me alert. Let's make some headway, shall we? Sure. I've no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? <laughs> There's a chasm of difference between joining a raid and captaining one. We're looking out for merchants, boys! <laughs> then that's fat with cargo! Find us a schooner with that spy Jumper. guys, Kenway. You'll get yourself a glimpse of what sort of cargo they're shipping, and a general idea of their toughness. Are you trifling with me, lad? Take out your spyglass. Schooner. Found it. There's a prize worth taking. Good. Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, project authority. Demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell over soft lines. For your victims must always have in the back of their minds the uneasy idea that you could snap at any moment and unseam them from prick to stern. Lovely. Like, I get it's an intimidation game, but cut the fuck down. What is the matter with you? Get in. A little bit, a little bit closer. Almost. Almost. Damn it! <laughs> Keep forgetting it's not just let go anymore. <laughs> I'm the greatest pirate. 
I mean, you know, <laughs> it's, it's one of the easiest ships to kill. But the point still stands. The fuck was that noise? Oh, I do have them. I was like, I don't have any of these yet. No, I do. Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you owe. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, señor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? <laughs> English. L little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods, and we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? Please do repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the holes and take everything that isn't nailed down. What are you gonna do? Language barrier. Okay. We now have the materials required to make the ship stronger, sir. It's a shaky feeling sailing about with this much stolen cargo. Get used to it. We'll need to take a few more prizes to make this a profitable day. Sure, why not? I think gunboats are even easier, actually. Could be wrong, but I think they are. Did it miss or did it hit? It missed. It was just short. But he fucking knows I'm here. Oh, you fucking idiot. Killed yourself then, you fool. Hold sail! She'll take it! Come on, you slugs! Man those sheets! Shush, Ade. That's fine. You need to learn to die. But it doesn't need repairing, it's fully repaired. Take today, can we? Half a dozen scores of that size and you'll be set for a year. Hmm. Now let's sell this cargo and fix up your jackdaw with a few more trinkets. Sod it, you. I'm looking for a prize that'll set me up for life. I'll be king of the West Indies then. We came to Nassau to get away from the likes of kings. Well, I'll be a man of property and promise anyway. Jesus, let that dream go, lad. Nassau is the place to be, not in. Do you ever dream of the big score? A ship so full of gold and silver, just split it and sail home. Sure, but it's only a dream. Every man hopes to find a dozen chests of gold with no owners. They're as rare as an honest king. <laughs> now the real question is, can I fast travel? No. No, I cannot. Dry Tortuga. We'll have to wet Tortuga. Starboard. Things 
Got him. <laughs> That's the only problem. Occasionally, the sailing, it's like, you gotta go. There's nothing you can do to do it faster. It sucks to be you. Sometimes they sing. There we go. <laughs> Love it things up a little bit. Do some singing. Yes, yes. Oh, we're nearly there. Nice. Some of these songs are actually really good. Some of them I really like. Others I'm like, eh, you give or take. And then there's like one or two that I'm like, no, that shit. Like, this is, this is one of the ones that's alright. It's like, eh, it's fine. There are some though, but if they start singing and then it's one I don't like, I'm like, and you're done. You ruined your chance. Don't crash. Okay, cool. <laughs> And suddenly park. Little to no instruction. Just uh, they parked. <laughs> and please. Hands to see! You could have you could have fucking jumped that, don't give me that shit. God damn it, Edward. Now look at you. I'm streaming wet. Necesita algo? What? Perhaps it shall be upgraded more. In fact, it probably will be at some point, because of the whole... I know that obviously sea battles plot-wise get more difficult, but it's like, probably gonna have to at some point. Hey! I wasn't even intending to do that, it just happened. Not a bad take today. Keep this up and Nassau will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here, but praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing. But your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Very poetic, Patch. Fly it proud. I will. I hand over the docket I lend you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, we'll need guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own monarch. <laughs> She's like, okay, fine. I'll do that. As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these borders is three score the number of military ships. Right. Oh, easy nope. purchase, what? but in small doses. No! Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. So plunder and pillage as you see fit, Captain Kenway. Oh, I shall. Provided I don't crash into every fucking island known to man. Military class brig on the horizon. Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? Absolutely. You won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lads? So die! That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to quarters. All hands to cannon. Careful around the name. Fire! He's likely to ram you as fire a broadside. Let's test those powder barrels against him. Now we fight for good thinking. No, I'm good with not doing that. Ready to fire! Fire! We're ready, sir! Don't go off with me! Look at them just killing it the old-fashioned way. Fire! Fire! Damn, I fight fast. The boys are running with all costs, sir! Fire! Hey, your friends coming, Captain! 
Fucking missed. <laughs> really, bitch. Certainly not complaining, but damn, you reload quick. Chain shot can take away her speed. Fire! The fuck do you think I'm trying to do? Bitch. <laughs> Which button is it to fire this thing again? It's been a few days. <laughs> I've finally fucking killed two of them. Take out a cat with that. God damn it, Edward. How good? You're all about to die. You bitch, where the fuck did you come from? Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize how many I've killed. Gonna need some repairing. <laughs> so they will show back that just like, no, I'm my own business. I don't need any of this. I mean, <laughs> hoping very much so this is not going to be too powerful for me to, for me to destroy. <laughs> okay, cool. That's the single one. That's not... <laughs> Can I? I could just ram it, but I should. I probably shouldn't. No movement for you. Just 
It's about the same as the last one. Yes, yes. I'm aware. Close enough. I didn't actually get him. I didn't think it was getting It's fine, Ade. Taking a fucking what? Shit. Shit. Think you is? <laughs> the, the sails just decided to dematerialize. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> Yay! Success, we didn't die. But you will. Fucking, fucking what? Oof, wrong button, fool. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> not not well. Hey, didn't even have to step foot on the ship. Because I'm that good. Success. You happy now, Holder Gold? Rumble, by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now I think it's time to lay low and drive our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So, how do we get rid of this notoriety we've stirred up? Money, my boy. A well placed bribe to the right government official. We'll see the military off your tail. Right, right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking. It's all the way over there. He can help me as much as he like, he's not gonna get me. How far are we? Ooh, I could... I could fast travel. So I will. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> How dare you? It's because of big hunt, isn't it, I think. Or because it's plot relevant. It could be because it's plot relevant. I'm not going to attack you. Just, just don't get in my way. <laughs> because, because you could not ram at travel speed. <laughs> Fucking slow. I think I'm nearly there. It's so peaceful. It's nice. I like it. Yeah, nearly there. Get the fuck out of my way, you fool. I'll blow you up. 
Make your wife a widow. I'll do it. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I'll do it. I'm not an assassin yet. There's no rules against killing innocent people. Except, you know, I suppose the law. <laughs> but aside from that, minor detail. Well, that was, <laughs> that was close and very awkward. All in the stunts. Fall, fall for all your worth. <laughs> it's not very much because none of them were named except us and him. The fuck, Edward. <laughs> the fuck, Edward. Sort your shit out, man. Have a word with yourself. Oi, can we? Hi. Piss off. Oh, cool. Hmm. That'll be the one. Yes! More power. Wonder, can we? You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you ah, like it. Ah, it's harsh. But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming all about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. <laughs> ah, such lofty goals for you, gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. He's gonna drink all the wine. Okay. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's move? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? It's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. Right. If. It's a good idea. If being a sarcastic if, not an, <laughs> you know, if as in pfft, if, as in certainty. Get the into the wind. Oh man, I can't travel, can't Crowd on crunch up, can't travel speed yet. So I get out of this bay, presumably. Them, what, hunters? I just assume so. Considering that's what I fucking paid someone for. Getting really sick of the fucking stuttering. Oh shit, I missed it. <laughs> Don't crash into land. Those 
Sorry. The urge to parkour is strong. And unavoidable. <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. And you will not fucking judge me for that. Ditch. It's like a nice little island. How you doing, James? Why, look! It's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet... Ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, Kenway. Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? Hmm? No, sir. <laughs> the I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not, Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. <laughs> this is... is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands, and he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. I want your clothes as well. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him, and he'll lead you straight to your prize. Sure. Well, that's clearly you. Gladdens me to hear your saying so. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Yes. <laughs> Deaf and blind. As they usually are. Who hired? Is that is that one of the fucking job requirements? You must have no situational awareness. Also, that's not exactly subtle, Edward. It's really not. See that? There you go. Your coat is cool, though. I want it. Burford, Manning, to me. Good. We're done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our interest. It's a good harvest this year. You may not talk so loud, sir. I bet you the other thing is don't kill anybody. Not that I care that much. But. <laughs> Bitch. You fucking do that. None for you. Let me on my ship. I'll do it. Thank you for keeping it warm for me. Captain, you have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. Oh, I do. I've seen before. You mark well, I did. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation. And all the cargo he's keeping there, and it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. 
Whoa! Man of War, which I do not need or want. Thank you very much. I'm well aware of where I am. Hold on, it's in trouble of fall. I see them. So try not to fucking die, basically. Unfurl a lock. Man your sheets. Brief the topsails and gallants. Thousand. Loose all. Party like. I'm gonna need you to not pay any fucking attention to me, you little bitch. All I want is to follow your friend and then kill him. So if you could kindly let that become a reality without any fuss, that would be great. Don't even, don't even, fuck you. I think we're clear, sir. All of my fuck you. At least this other ship's fucking stupid. I think that one heard me. Don't turn around. So holy shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. This man's working for Peter Backford's people. Hey, stay up, that. Nice. The Backfords and their sugar empire. I. The Backfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked a plantation, no? A modest one, I. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. The hard process making sugar. Dangerous. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like, toiling on a plantation day and night? Well, with the cane sugar cut in half, Hell? it's run between two metal rollers and cross the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it's time to boil away the water from the sugar. This we did in time to of copper. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin will stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. <laughs> it doesn't sound great. Like, I mean, I love sugar. It's a risk but to fuck. Close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the Sure thing. Shop. You do that. Don't steal it. You won't. We're friends. <laughs> At least you better not because we're friends. <laughs> I mean, I know you won't, but <laughs> why would you do that to me? I'm treating you as an equal despite the time period. It's because I'm a good person, because who gives a fuck? <laughs> You're blind. Either that or just fucking stupid. None for you. What's happened here? Why such disarray? Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wellington's birthday. And you saw <laughs> fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. Yes. Everything's sorted. You'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pilots, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. <laughs> Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. I mean, you can do that. If you like. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. I mean, I'm still gonna fucking die. Possibly. I might kill you. We shall see. For God's sake, what the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose <laughs> you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? <laughs> Full onto it. It'll ring. <laughs> I 
Do I get to kill this guy? Because I'd like to kill this guy. Which would be fun. So close I could. And you never fucking know. Shh. Shut your bitch mouth. I'd like to speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Has the key to the warehouse, huh? I shall soon find out. Take me the warehouse key, if you please. Oh, urge to kill rising. You don't have it, but you're gonna get it, <gasps> bitch. Who has it? I'm serious, make this easy for me. Who has it? That'd be you. Enjoy your death. This is what you're gonna get. Cause the slaves don't give a shit. They're just like, I don't care. You the trash uh -oh. Oh. I must flee. Oh, you'll, you'll be fine. Shit. No. Yeah, here I am. <laughs> Do you? Fool. will fucking suck. Calm, Please, calm no, down, man. Spare, I'm not gonna fucking kill you. Calm down. You there? Stop. Alarm! Rouse yourselves, you dullards! <laughs> Bitch. Oh, it's you. Enjoy your death. Oh, you bitch. I followed you too far to not get the satisfaction of killing you. Okay. Okay. Nice. <laughs> if you class that oh wait no not that bit <laughs> so if you class that as staying out of combat it's fine by me oh this is still too far I like uh, I'm glad that they at least sort of stepping stone it it's not like go to the other side of the map they sort of go, you go here, then you're here, then you're here, that it sort of... Like, you travel halfway across the map, but you do it in stages, so... Like, it doesn't feel like you're just sailing for ages, which I think is good. That's a clever way of doing it. Very misty. Good thing you guys know where you're going, because... Well, fuck. <laughs> I didn't see that. Okay, just park. swim across. Also, how the fuck did you all get here? None of your ships are here, incidentally. 
how are you doing this? <laughs> Here's to overly our dramatic for no reason. Republic, lads. We're prosperous, free, and out the reach of kings, clergy, and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. True. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these tablets claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Would make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat. And slow. <laughs> Something tells me this is going to go horribly wrong. And I mean horribly. <laughs> Jackdaw handles nine. Pinched her from the Spanish, was it? Aye. In the midst of a hurricane. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon a million pounds worth of reals was sunk that day. Devil love a hurricane. <laughs> Might have a dive there one day. See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well, conscience out of all some soft talk coming from a pirate. And as it happens, I mostly agree. We'll save the clashing of cutlasses for the military. And then they get in our way. Easy as she goes. No telling what you may find out here. Like staring through a waterfall. Don't soil your preaches, lads. I got this. He says. Nope, that's island. <laughs> it's it's fucking difficult to see anything. What was that brig over there? But I don't think it's that. Seriously, it's fucking right in front of me and I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, sure. It wouldn't. It couldn't be that brig, because if it was that brig. Hostile warship closing! Think she's a cutter! Spanish inside! Seems to be a loser! Yep. That's the fucking one. And we'd not last long face to face with her. Hear that, can we? Leave your distance. We'll strike when fortune favors her. Under cover of darkness, sure. most likely. Ah, oh, you may come to that. And and how the fuck are you intending to steal this thatch? Cause I mean, okay. Cover of darkness, but it's still a fucking man of war. Just letting you know. No, that's, that's not fast enough. Oh, 
I'll slow down if I get too close, then I'll... You can piss right off, you little bitch. As we're getting out of the storm. Who do you think you is? Go to Dick Mountain and suck it. Fuck. See? Fuck you. That was bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Seriously, fuck that. See, fucking look at it. It's not giving me any fucking space. See. The fuck was that? No, no, it was all the way over that fucking side, so what fucking business does that guy have decided, oh look, I'm just gonna go all the way over here and stay going over here, so there's no fucking gap. Six looks and I can't go fucking near him either. Then he's gonna be like, oh no, you're too far away from it. You're gonna lose it. All sail, she'll take it. I know she's a good sailor. Now prove it, my trunks. All shipping, cabin, cabin. Schooner. I think we've lost it. See if I can manage it this fucking way. Piss off. <laughs> Bring it all, sir. Come and tight. Unfold, mates. Let's move. No, 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 no. I think we've lost them, sir. Okay, thank fuck. That was... That was too close. <laughs> It's much too close. <laughs>
Please don't tell me we have to go much further. And you can go fuck yourself. Bitch. It's a break. Spanish enzyme. Thank you, Alfred. Jesus Christ. He's off the wind. Force. Please. All the things. When Charles. Yeah. Reckless as they come. An old friend of yours. Not a man I call a friend. But we've been doing this kind of work for so long, I can't help but respect him. <laughs> Except he's now probably dead. Lovely. Thanks. All I need. Fucking mortars. Shit. Son of a bitch. <laughs> More than fucking one. Sure thing. <laughs> yes, yes. So pissed. She's sailing for that island. I know the place. A natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. Name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the <laughs> man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. Maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. I tried. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Where you're bound to go. Cry me, I'll say, boy, and where am I to go? Away 
Is, that, is this the around that I want? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't crash. <laughs> Fuck noise was that? It's restricted, but I'm still getting there. Because I have to. <laughs> Gentlemen, as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. The object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring that James, how did you get here? So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship. Stomp and shout I! Aye. Those who oppose, whimper nay. Nobody? Okay. Aye. Never was the King's Council so unified. Okay, let's do this. Well, let's have me do this. None of you are gonna do it. Really nice water, why wouldn't you? Let's see. Make that? Yes, I can. Good. Good. <laughs> well, that was risky. <laughs> How risky you might ask? As fuck is the answer. Yeah, fine. Edward, Edward, please. Stop dicking around. Son of a bitch. That'll do it. I have a sneaking suspicion that the name he mentioned was the one that looks like Miguel from Tekken. <laughs> I seem to remember we violently murdered him first. What do you mean? It's fine by me. <laughs> For you. You're both fucking blind. <laughs> She's like, oh look, there's a cut. Nah, never mind. <laughs> He's ignoring us. We can ignore him. Because that's what we're being fucking paid for. Oh, 
Oh, okay, that's... That's not how I thought that would go, but... Okay. Fools. I know you can hear me. <laughs> you almost there? Fuck. And we are there. I don't know. I don't know if I'm okay with this. <gasps> I'm assuming this will end up being the way down. I'm gonna take that as a yes. I'm gonna take that as a very very large, yes. And as these men are all utterly fucking blind. The fuck? Warhogs. Bitch, don't look at me. Shit. You're all blind and you're all stupid. Fuck you. Fuck you, Edward. <laughs> Why are you like this? Oh. Clearing with more soldiers. <laughs> if I do end up fighting, he will be the biggest nuisance. I bet you won't fucking go back the wrong way. Yep. Ran back the wrong fucking way. Well, just have to kill you. That isn't fucking typical. At least the others decided not to chase me. Right away. Hey! <laughs> Blow yourself up, save me some problems. Cool. Lost me. None for you. You fucking what? Ah, you bitch. You're fucking shooting at me. Come over here if you want. Fine. Fucking charge murder it is. I don't care. Something reminds me I have to air assassinate him. Like, I mean, I don't have to air assassinate him. But, like, it wants me to air assassinate. So I'll try. Oh, 
Oh, you bitch. You didn't fucking see anything. The fuck do you think you are? This guy's fucking blind, so that should be fine. Little mini cannons back there. Never noticed that before. Can I climb up here? Yes, fucking can. To cast, you're gonna get fucked. Not in the good way. In the you're gonna fucking die way. New. Nope. None for you. Gonna need you to fuck off and look the other way, douchebag. I'm serious, piss off. It's fucking terrible. Hello there. <laughs> Remember the gift you gave me? Well, it answers just fine. Mr. Putra! As bold as a musket ball, and still half as sharp. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenyi. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still, you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue! Go for ah, yourself. What's this? Is petty larceny the extent of your ambition? Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world without parasites like you! Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. No hablo espanol. The cove is ours! Hey! <laughs>